Wow, I never thought we'd get out of this mess. Don't you have stuff to do? This is no campfire radio operator. Come on, Salvador. I think I deserve some recognition. I mean, first the crane, and on the way back, that thing with the alligators. Alligators? Oh, please. You said you didn't want to hear that story. Ugh, oh, crap. Is there a problem, Delvin? More than one, but I think we can get the capsule ready for one more start. It'll just be a bit risky, though. We can't let that stop us. What does a bit risky mean exactly? We gathered data for the last time jump for years. We only have half an evening for this one. If I miscalculate, we could end up all across a period of three weeks in pieces. Then you'd better not miscalculate. Hmm. Then I'd better not miscalculate. It's as simple as that. What more do you need for the takeoff? Well, let's see. I would need the exact date for starters, the temporal target coordinates, so to speak. What else? That's not quite as simple. Can you be any more clear, pilot? I need an atom. An atom? Aren't there enough around? Yes, um, no. I need a specific one, one that has a quantum matrix to allow us to travel to the designated time. Ah, I see. A pity I didn't bring my quantum microscope. I told you it's complicated. Let's focus on finding out the right point of time first. Right. The most important thing is that we prepare for this new situation. We need more information to adapt the mission profile. I think Nigel had a plan. He gave me a data crystal. If we can find the second one as well, we might be able to figure out what he found out. Data crystal? Let me see that. What's that supposed to be? Some sort of data storage unit? I think so. The old fool plummeted to his death for this? Hmm. I always feared that his lack of objectivity would endanger the mission at some point. And now we are stuck here. Only two men left. Hey! Oh, Milady wants to help too. I'm holding my breath. There's some kind of library on the other side of the street. I'm sure we can find all the information we need there. A library? Was that why it took you so long to find us in the first place? I didn't even know. While others risk their lives, Milady takes some time off to read. Well done, Faye. You know, that's really... Shut up! I have more important things to do than listen to your babbling. If you want to say something, make sure it's something useful. Why don't we travel into the past as far as possible? Study 478. In order to be influenced, people have to perceive the problem first. We need a time where climate problems already exist for our infiltration to be successful. I think so, too. We are looking for a really small time window. The climate change must be known, but it mustn't be too far advanced yet. So that would be the temporal needle in a haystack? I'm not going to comment on that. Does someone have a serious suggestion? It's pretty clear to me what we should do. We go to the library and search for... No, I have a better plan. I will check out the library over there. Hmm, whatever. Maybe I can even find some kind of device to read out the data on the crystal. I saw a few terminals. Thanks, radio operator. I'm sure I would have found them even without your valuable contribution. And don't forget that there's a second crystal. Nigel said... Nigel was an idealistic contrarian. I can imagine what his plan was. But... Listen, radio operator. I am the highest ranking officer on this mission now. You will do as I say. And I want to get a picture of the situation myself first. Any objections? No? Didn't think so. Whatever did I do to him? Don't take it personally. I think he's still upset because of the thing with the alligators. The pant trick worked, but Salvador is not one who likes to be shown up. Two fifty four after the onset of the mission. Twenty fifty is too late. Phoenix plan about to fail. Teams A and B, as well as D to H, are dead. Were rescued by radio operator F-42. Hey, my name is Faye. And why is that written in brackets? Next step. Reorganization with pilot Delvin. Calculate new target time and initiate second time jump.
Oops, a battery. That would have hurt if Delvin had laid down on it. I'd better take it. Salvador? What do you want? Um, I wanted to ask you if I could take a break. I'm dead tired. So, my lady needs a vacation? Only a little sleep. I've accomplished a lot and... Listen, radio operator. This is an extremely important mission, understood? My friends died yesterday, too. If we slacked off, their deaths would have been in vain. That's not what I meant. There's much left to do. What do you think we could do next? I could search the area for something useful. I'm not going to send you on a pleasure walk while we work our butts off. So, Milady is going to secure the area. I don't want us to get murdered in our sleep. There's a probe in that box. Wait! How... You take the drill, then you drill a hole through that pile of rubble. Then you send the probe through that hole. Do you still have your time radio transmitter? I am a radio operator after all. Then you'll hide in some corner. And you'll use your TRT to steer the probe through the building. After that, you can take your break for all I care. Oh dear, I hope this will work. It worked! You drilled a hole into a heap of debris. Bravo. And I think I did a good job of it. Continue. Damn it! You didn't drop it, did you? No, everything's fine. I must use the control panel of the TRT to control the probe. Nigel? Salvador! I just saw Nigel! Behind the wall! He's alive! It was just your imagination. But he... It's impossible to survive a drop like that. We must help him. You did your job. Now go and take your damn break. He still lives, and I'm going to find him. That was an order, radio operator. Your orders don't carry any weight here. Go take a nap. It isn't quite as aggressive if it's blue, but it's still far from pleasant. I need your help. Can you help me to boost the drill? A plasma drill? Why? I have to drill my way into the library. Whoa, 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 that's dangerous. The whole building could collapse. I'll take care. Don't worry. Have I ever broken something important? Hmm? You could try using a condenser membrane to increase the power feed. We only have one membrane, though, and I need that one myself. Sorry. Can I just borrow it real quick? You'll get it back in a second. Promise. No, I really can't do that. My color modulator has gone crazy, and I need the membrane to keep the energy level steady. If the light slips into the red spectrum even a little, the pulsar will tear the instruments to pieces. You need it so the light will stay blue? Yes, exactly. You got it. Nigel is still alive! Are you absolutely certain? I saw him! We have to go to him immediately! And Salvador, he doesn't want to help! When was the last time you got some sleep? So, you don't want to believe me either? You should rest. Thanks. I'll make do.
I'll take the filter out. Could this blue filter replace the condenser membrane? May I see it? That is a little crude, but yes, it could work. Fantastic! It really works! Here, I think you can have the membrane now, but be careful with it. It's just a net? Hmm, yes. In order to use it, you must put an energy source in it and then connect it to the drill. The net draws energy from the battery, pulls it, and redirects it to the end device. I've just found a battery in the camp. Looks like you have everything you need then. Okay. Thanks. In with it. The battery is in the net now. Good. The drill should have enough power now. Let's see. Well, a small round piece of glass, and it shines red. I'm getting better with the drill. The drill should be stronger now than it was with the blue filter. Oops, I think it moved. Good grief. Don't let a simple letter unsettle you. It still seems to hold. It still seems to hold. It still seems to hold. It had to work this time. I had the net with the battery, and I had the filter module with the red glass. And a very vivid imagination. I don't know from where you acquired your knowledge about lasers, but red lasers have lower energy levels than blue ones. And how that membrane of yours is supposed to work is a mystery to me as well. I risked so much to be here today, and you really believe I'm just making all of this up? Are you mad? We are inside a ruin, and you blow up the walls? The door is open now. Wait a sec. How did you do that? I focused the energy supply and manipulated the color frequency through an improvised modulator. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Come here. You can't order me around. I just want to show you something, so come here. What are you doing? I still need the drill. Just making sure you don't tear down the foundation. You can keep the membrane. Now get out of my face. Nigel? Hello? Here are a few broken boards, a squashed ventilation system, and a chip. I'd better take it. It might still work. I can't reach it. Yes, the paddle has the right length. Oh, no. The runnel washed it down even further. There's a button here. That doesn't do anything.
I think I have something better than my hands. The lower end is tightly wound around the banister. I'll do that from further up. I hope the debris can hold my weight. Ooh. Oh, I did it. Now I only have to... And go! So much for that. Now I only have to get back... Ow! The data crystal should be here somewhere. Hmm. Not here. Not here either. Strange. I could have sworn it fell down here. I wonder where the water washed it to. The left display case held an old monitor, big and bulky, just like the one you have over there. Sounds like you ended up in a media archive. Ha! <laughs> That's great. They put more effort into preserving old machines than into preserving the climate. I actually believe you on this one. The right display case held a big black disc with a dedication. Fur Elise. <laughs> that was a record. You could... How charming. Now you feign ignorance. Records exist everywhere. It couldn't have been the first one you've seen. It probably was my last, too. an idea. I took the piece of soap and washed it down at the same spot the data crystal had been. Soap in the runnel. Cute idea. Did you find this data crystal that way? Oh, of course. The foam showed me the way. I only hoped it would still work. I found the second data crystal. Can you read the data? Please? Not bad, radio operator. But you skipped your break for nothing. The damned crystal is broken. Maybe we can find out where Nigel got the data in the first place and download it again. The data is ruined, but this ID chip still seems to work. If you can find a working terminal, you can use this crystal to log onto Nigel's account. His password is... Blue Green Algae. Right. That's my Nigel. The cyanobacteria is the key. Let it go. I'm sure the old man didn't find anything useful. May I have it back? Take it. <laughs> 